Okay, well, I've been playing for quite a while. I've had to restart a few times because I just, every time I would always run out of money or I would run out of people or it would, took a lot of trial and error and I finally have got to the point where I'm actually fairly self-sustaining. So I'm going to go through a couple of the things that I did that I didn't know to do the first time, a couple times I played to get to the point where you can be fairly self-sustaining. Okay, the first thing, don't go too quick. Just build up slowly. Let your stuff gradually build up is one of the biggest things. Every time you need a new item, like, uh, like if you need tools and you need, because like, at first I didn't, I only had one family. So you got two people. And I had four buildings that needed people. Well, I had it on the auto. If you go over to this menu and you go to your jobs board, it had you do automatically assign workforce. Don't do that when you first start. I have it on now, but it's because I've got a very large workforce now. As you can see, I've got 15 people idle and 34 drones that are idle. So I've got plenty of workforce that don't have things to do. Back when it was first starting, I, I had my drone factory, I had my tool factory, I had my security office. All those things needed people to work them. Plus, up inside of your towers, if you go up to your domes, each of these places, like your trade center and your school and your clothing shop, are all in need of having people in them. But at certain times, you need more of one thing. Like, the best thing is to have drones being made because you need those workforce to operate other buildings. So keep it off of the auto so you can put it on your drones. And then all of a sudden, if you need more tools to build something, throw somebody off of something else and throw them on the thing you need. The other tip I have is make sure you have your trade center as quickly as you can because this is how you're going to get your money because if you run out of money you can't build anything, you can't research, you can't do anything without the funds so having a, sh a trade center you can go in here and you can find find something that you have an overabundance of and sell that product to get yourself some money or if you need more plastic or if you need you know utilize this the trade center is key to getting yourself established sell off extras and buy stuff you need and then the next big thing you're gonna need I did not know is this your rescue center if you go into research the rescue center is let's see where is it at I'm trying to figure out um, let's see we got it's a little ways down uh, let's see I'm trying to find it here well maybe it's not as far down oh there it is rescue center right here um, it's gonna be right after your expedition house the rescue center they actually continuously go out and look for people see they're preparing for a mission they go out and they rescue survivors from the surface and they bring them back that's how you get you that's how you get your human workforce which then now I have plenty of workers to supply each of these buildings and you want to make sure you have your towers for your domes I mean and have those so you have enough houses and it's very important to have an environment like trees and things like that to keep the people happy um, oh right now my I've got an expedition force out right now you go over and they will come up with things like this summer uh, pirate submarine is covering oh converging on our position they are ready to attack we need orders ASAP okay um, let's see squeeze the max out of your props and bail out lock on and fire warning shot uh, they'll be sorry okay 
I had gone through a mission like this before, and I ran, and I ended up losing somebody. I did outrun the pirates, but somebody did get killed in a, one of the volleys they shot at me. Um, let's. I don't know if they're going to get threatened off by a warning shot. I'm not going to try running again. Let's let's engage. We might lose something, but plus one. Okay, uh, pirate submarine. Okay, that's a. You'll be sorry. Uh, let's see. We're serious. Oh, we've oh we've seriously damaged the enemy submarine as she starts losing altitude. We've quickly rescued a few of the people and transported them on board. They will be either or pardoned. Uh, give them back to HQ. Okay, so we gained one person. We did lose 120 batteries, but that's because we were firing at them. So. Okay, and then now that submarine will continue on its way. Okay, let's get back to the tips here. Um, let's see, getting a uh, re repair center is kind of fun, uh, important too. That's down in this part of your menu uh, on the right hand corner, the infrastructure. There's uh, the maintenance depot. Uh, get that set up because then you're not constantly going back and uh, fixing leaking pipes. Um, getting a warehouse is a good idea because you're constantly running out of uh, inventory space. But the big thing is don't move at too big, fast a speed. Take your time and move through each step. This is your maintenance. Uh, you could upgrade your uh, radius. As you can see, each of these green lines shows a place where they're maintaining. So I've got one there, and I have another one over here, which is covering this other section. Uh, let's see, where are we at on research? Uh, let's see. Raw food for fast food. I've got the greenhouse. Okay, um, I'm going to actually, let's see, so allows us to apply specialty sir tax, resulting in increased clax collection. Um, fast food. Let's do the fast food first because they're asking for a variety of food now. And the other thing is, is I, I take, and I usually do only one or two so that I have a chance because like, you know, this fast food is going to unlock the next thing. So I want to know, you know, I kind of want to read about each of these. So I take my time. It's going to, it shows you exactly what up in the corner, in the left-hand corner here, it shows you how far along the research is. Uh, getting a variety of food, I take in. What I've been doing is actually setting each farm. I've got five farms because right now there's five different food sources. So I put each one as a different food source. And then we have the other thing that I didn't do the first time around is I didn't realize is these cages where you could raise lobsters or uh, salmon or tuna. You got, you need to put a pipe. At first, I did not realize you needed a pipe, so I sat here where it was just letting them die off, and I wasn't actually gathering any food from them. So make sure you run a pipe, because it doesn't really indicate it really, really well. Uh, this is our explosion. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. We can upgrade now. So now we'll be able to hold more in our submarine. Plus, I put a, a little uh, depot close to it so they can transfer items between the two easier. And I try to get most of these things upgraded to their fullest so you're taking advantage of each of the items. Oh well, here we go, we've got a plastic factory. I've got two plastic factories because I was burning through my plastic pretty quickly. Now that I've got so many people, you're you don't have to worry as much about running short on uh, people to 
man these facilities. Yeah, there's still a few that I haven't completely upgraded because I just built them for a while. I was running real low on oxygen, which I'm still not doing too good. Too good. I've all my other ones, 200, you know, either two to 300, and this, and my fuel is actually at 590 over what I'm using. So that's that's really good because then those are products that you can actually use to sell to get more cash. You run back up in here. Right now I'm kind of setting up this as kind of a living quarters. And then we've got some living, because this was my first one that I had set up. And then I set this one up and now we're, you know, see so we've got a jewelry, we've got a clinic, we've got a, a waste baskets now, uh, which was this recycling center down here will help uh, get us more, it actually gets us more product like plastics and um, iron. Uh, let's see, there was something else that I just upgraded before I went off the last time. I can't remember exactly what it was. I have not got to the nuclear part yet. Um, let's see, oxygen generator, that's what I was... We are running fairly short on, ox on oxygen compared to other things. So let's take and make a oxygen extractor. This is going to extract oxygen from the water. Plus when you make these buildings, one thing I was making a mistake was I was putting them too close together. You want to make sure you have enough space where you see how there's between the two buildings. This gives us an avenue to build our piping. We want to be able to make sure you have enough space between to build the pipes. Boom, there we go. And I usually run at 8 speed, but I was I just wanted to have it at 1 speed for right now just to kind of help. Oh, we've got, even when you're, you know, I don't have a repair center close enough to this one because, see, I've got it a ways away from my base. So you still have to do some repairs. So kind of keep your eye up here in the left-hand corner because the longer it's broken, you're running short on something which then takes you know more of a possibility that your people might start leaving so okay well that's just kind of a an overview of the kind of beginning mid game uh, it'll be interesting because I still got quite a bit to unlock I'll do another video a little bit farther along um, just kind of showing what some of the other buildings are for uh, we've got our oxygen um, generator now so let's optimize it I like to get it optimized because we're not using as much uh, we do have a production boost but right now as you can see I'm kind of short on plastic which shouldn't be too long before I've got some back that's where doing eight speed is a good idea because it gets you those resources pretty quickly because I do have two facilities manufacturing it but each of these things, well, here we go. Um, this is the trading center. Um, some of these things like coral. See, we got a lot of sea cucumbers. Um, a lot of different items with stone. If you hit shift, you can basically trade all of what you have available quantity-wise. Or if you do control, it'll do it 20 increments. So let's uh, sell 320. I should have bought some more plastic, but I wanted to get some more cash, because I'm down to 3,000. Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. I was going to say, let's head down here. We'll do one expl exploration. Um, explore. Oh, okay. Due to unknown chemical reaction, sea has suddenly frozen in a matter of minutes. Oh wow. Also seeing significant increase in sea life in the area. Sending a scientific expedition to the site may provide us with some insight to the phenomenon. Uh, the freeze was caused by asteroid impact 
in particular in the ozone. Also, we got ourselves a bunch of stuff. We got some salmon. I'm, salmon and swordfish I'm not gathering quite yet. Um, tuna, sharks, and small fish we have been gathering. So I'll get us some extra food. Let's set our guys home because we should be we're probably running short on supplies plus we have all this food to, to deliver. Yeah, we are down to only five batteries. Uh, we can do a resupply. So we got salmon, cherries, because I had done another mission that got us some more food. So that was a fairly profitable expedition. Um, we may run out of battery power right around here, but then you can send out an ex a submarine to resupply. Okay, we'll leave it off right there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips help you get your cities up and going underwater here. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.